So let's do uh, one of these qualitative problems. It says, describe the effect on pH that results from the following addition. Uh, potassium acetate to an acetic acid solution. Okay, so let's go over what an acetic acid solution is. So this is a, essentially the Le Chatelier's principle problem is what it is, okay? So um, acetic acid is CH3COOH, and a solution of it, that means we're dropping it in some water, and that's going to react with uh, the weak acid, acetic acid, to make the conjugate base of acetic acid, the acetate ion, plus H3O plus. H3O plus in this reaction equation is the only thing that affects the pH. Okay, so that's where you're getting your pH value from. Okay. So it said that we put potassium, what is potassium? Acetate, right? So let's write it. Okay, so that's potassium acetate. So when this is put into water, we have a solid and we put it into water. It breaks up to the acetate anion plus potassium. Like that, okay? So, if we're putting this stuff, potassium acetate, into this solution, right, what are we really adding to it? We're really adding this stuff to it, right? The acetate anion, this thing here, okay? So if we add this, so let's say we're increase this, Right? That's going to make the reaction go that way, right? So that means this is going to do what? The concentration of H3O plus decrease, decrease right? So that's going to decrease. So that means the pH will decrease. Or, sorry, increase. Because the um, lower your um, concentration of H3O plus, right, the higher your concentration of OH minus, so that's going to increase your pH. Okay? Does that make sense? Questions before I kill it?